Hey, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to tackle a topic that many of us can relate to, breaking free from financial constraints. Whether you're drowning in debt, struggling to make ends meet, or feeling trapped by financial limitations, this video is for you. We'll explore practical strategies and mindset shifts that can help you break free from those constraints and create a brighter financial future. So, let's dive in. Step 1. Facing the reality The first step in breaking free from financial constraints is facing the reality of your financial situation. It's important to take an honest look at your income, expenses, and debt. We'll discuss practical ways to assess your financial health and create a clear picture of where you stand. The first thing you need to do is gather all the necessary information about your income, expenses, and debt. Take a moment to grab your bank statements, credit card statements, and any other financial documents you have. Trust me, this step is going to give you a much-needed reality check. Now, let's break it down. Start with your income. Write down all the sources of income you have, including your salary, side hustles, investments, or any other money coming in. Be comprehensive and don't forget to consider irregular or fluctuating income sources. Next, let's move on to your expenses. This is where things get real. Track your expenses meticulously over a month or review your previous bank and credit card statements. Categorize your expenses into fixed expenses, such as rent or mortgage payments, utilities, and insurance, and variable expenses, like groceries, entertainment, and dining out. Now, take a good look at those numbers. How do they align with your income? Are you spending more than you earn? Are there any areas where you can cut back or make adjustments? It's important to be brutally honest with yourself during this assessment. Finally, let's address the elephant in the room, debt. List down all your outstanding debts, including credit card debt, student loans, car loans, or any other loans you may have. Take note of the interest rates, minimum monthly payments, and the total amount owed. Step 2. Setting financial goals Once you have a clear understanding of your current situation, it's time to set financial goals. We'll explore the importance of setting both short-term and long-term goals, how to prioritize them, and how to make them specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound, smart. Setting goals will give you a sense of direction and motivation to break free from financial constraints. First, let's start with specific. Your financial goals need to be specific and clearly defined. Avoid vague goals like, I want to save money. Instead, be precise and say something like, I want to save $5,000 for an emergency fund within the next 12 months. The more specific your goal, the easier it will be to plan and take action. Next, we have measurable. Your goals should have measurable criteria that allow you to track your progress. This could be a specific dollar amount, a percentage, or a timeline. For example, if your goal is to pay off debt, specify the exact amount you want to pay off and the timeline in which you aim to achieve it. Moving on to achievable. It's important to set goals that are realistic and attainable within your current financial circumstances. While it's great to dream big, setting unrealistic goals may lead to frustration and demotivation. Assess your resources, capabilities, and time frame to ensure your goals are achievable. The next component is relevant. Your financial goals should align with your overall financial vision and values. Ask yourself, why is this goal important to me? How does it contribute to my long-term financial well-being? When your goals are relevant to your aspirations, you'll feel more motivated and invested in achieving them. Lastly, we have time-bound. Every goal needs a deadline. Without a specific time frame, goals tend to linger and lose their sense of urgency. Set a realistic deadline for achieving your financial goals, whether it's in a few months, a year, or several years. This will help you stay focused and accountable. By following the SMART framework, you'll be able to set clear, actionable financial goals. 
Remember, it's essential to set both short-term and long-term goals. Short-term goals keep you motivated and provide quick wins, while long-term goals give you a bigger vision to work towards. Step 3. Creating a budget and cutting expenses Budgeting is a powerful tool for managing your finances and breaking free from constraints. We'll discuss the importance of creating a budget, tracking your expenses, and identifying areas where you can cut back. We'll also provide practical tips on reducing expenses without sacrificing your quality of life. Step 4. Increasing income and building multiple streams breaking free from financial constraints often requires increasing your income. We'll explore various ways to boost your earnings, such as negotiating a raise, freelancing, starting a side hustle, or creating passive income streams. Building multiple streams of income can provide financial stability and give you more control over your financial situation. The first option to consider is negotiating a raise at your current job. Many people shy away from this, but it's essential to advocate for yourself and your worth. Research industry standards, highlight your achievements, and schedule a meeting with your supervisor to discuss a potential salary increase. Remember, you never know until you ask. If a raise isn't possible or doesn't provide the desired outcome, freelancing can be a fantastic opportunity to earn extra income. Consider your skills and expertise, there's likely a market for your services. Websites like Upwork, Freelancer, and Fiverr connect freelancers with clients worldwide. You can offer services like graphic design, writing, consulting, or web development to supplement your income. Another option is starting a side hustle. This is an excellent opportunity to turn a passion or hobby into a profitable venture. Identify your strengths and interests, and explore ways to monetize them. It could be selling handmade crafts online, tutoring, offering personal training sessions, or starting a small business. The possibilities are endless. Now, let's talk about passive income streams. Passive income is money earned with minimal effort on your part. Building multiple streams of passive income can provide financial stability and give you more control over your financial situation. Examples include rental properties, dividend stocks, peer-to-peer -peer lending, or creating digital products like ebooks or online courses. Remember, building multiple income streams takes time and effort. It's crucial to do thorough research, assess your skills and interests, and determine the best fit for you. Experiment with different options and find what aligns with your lifestyle and financial goals. Step 5. Tackling debt and building an emergency fund debt can be a major constraint on your financial freedom. We'll discuss effective strategies for paying off debt, such as the debt snowball or debt avalanche methods. Additionally, we'll emphasize the importance of building an emergency fund to protect yourself from unexpected expenses and financial setbacks. Debt can feel overwhelming, but with the right approach, you can conquer it. Two popular strategies for paying off debt are the debt snowball and the debt avalanche methods. Let's start with the debt snowball method. The debt snowball method involves listing your debts from smallest to largest, regardless of interest rates. Begin by making minimum payments on all your debts, except for the smallest one. Put any extra money you have towards paying off that smallest debt. Once it's paid off, take the amount you were paying towards that debt and add it to the minimum payment of your next smallest debt. Repeat this process until you're debt-free. This method provides a psychological boost as you see small victories along the way. On the other hand, the debt avalanche method focuses on paying off debts with the highest interest rates first. Start by listing your debts from highest to lowest interest rates. Make minimum payments on all debts, but allocate any additional funds towards the debt with the highest interest rate. Once it's paid off, move on to the next debt with the highest interest rate. This method helps you save more on interest payments over time. While paying off debt, it's equally important to build an emergency fund. Life is full of unexpected expenses and financial setbacks, and having an emergency fund can protect you from falling back into debt. 
Aim to save three to six months worth of living expenses in a separate savings account. Start small, set a monthly savings goal, and gradually build your emergency fund over time. To save for an emergency fund, you may need to adjust your budget and cut back on non-essential expenses. Consider automating your savings by setting up automatic transfers from your paycheck to your emergency fund account. Treat it as a non-negotiable expense, just like paying your bills. Step 6. Adopting a wealth-building mindset Breaking free from financial constraints goes beyond the practical aspects, it requires a mindset shift. We'll explore the importance of adopting a wealth-building mindset, overcoming limiting beliefs, and embracing a positive money mindset. A strong mindset will help you stay motivated, make better financial decisions, and create lasting change. Your mindset plays a significant role in your financial success. Adopting a wealth-building mindset means shifting your perspective from scarcity to abundance. It's about believing that there are ample opportunities to create wealth and that you have the ability to achieve financial freedom. One of the first steps is to identify and overcome limiting beliefs about money. These beliefs can hold us back from reaching our full potential. Common limiting beliefs include thinking that wealth is reserved for others, that money is evil, or that we don't deserve financial success. Challenge these beliefs and replace them with empowering thoughts that support your financial goals. Embracing a positive money mindset is another crucial aspect. It involves cultivating a healthy relationship with money, seeing it as a tool for growth and opportunity rather than a source of stress or anxiety. Practice gratitude for what you have and focus on abundance rather than scarcity. Develop a mindset of abundance by celebrating your financial wins, no matter how small they may seem. Building a wealth mindset also requires continuous learning and personal development. Educate yourself about personal finance, investing, and wealth building strategies. Read books, listen to podcasts, attend seminars, and surround yourself with like-minded individuals who inspire and support your financial journey. To cultivate a wealth-building mindset, incorporate daily habits that reinforce positive money beliefs. Practice affirmations and visualization exercises to reprogram your subconscious mind for success. Set goals that align with your financial vision and take consistent action towards achieving them. Remember, breaking free from financial constraints is not just about the external factors, it begins with an internal shift. Believe in your ability to create wealth and financial abundance. Stay motivated by visualizing your desired financial future and reminding yourself of the impact financial freedom will have on your life and the lives of your loved ones. And there you have it, practical steps to break free from financial constraints. Remember, Achieving financial freedom is a journey that requires commitment, discipline, and perseverance. By implementing these strategies and embracing a wealth-building mindset, you can pave the way to a brighter financial future. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more valuable content. And as always, feel free to leave your comments and questions down below. Stay determined, break free from those financial constraints, and we'll see you in the next video.